Thank you for listening to Steph Infection. I always forget to plug my dates because uh, I'm an idiot, but here we go. I'm going to be in Creek and Cave in Austin, May 19th to 20th, and then Dania Beach, Florida at the Improv, May 26th, 28th. Come out. Bye. We got a big get today on today. Big, I can't talk. Oh my god! I'm so excited. She's nervous. I am nervous. I'm a pro wrestler, <laughs> Steph Delander from fucking Australia. How the hell are you? Oh, dude, I'm great. I'm so pumped that you're here. No, I'm very excited about this. I'm glad we could like line it up. I know, cause you reached out to me and you were like, "I want to do the pod." I was like, "You do?" And then I was like, <laughs> "Of course I do." What are you talking like, about? I don't. I fucking want to go to Australia so goddamn badly. Yeah, I feel like my you soul will. Lives there. No, no, no. Your career will take you there. Yes, and within like soon as well. Well, I'm hoping they love comedy. Australians I know. are fucking hilarious. They are. Yeah. No, you should. You'll go. You'll. I want to be there. Fuck. So how did you even <laughs> find me? How did how did this happen? I saw you on Netflix. Okay. Initially, yeah, okay. and I was like. This bitch is so fucking funny and also like similar to me in a mm-hmm. way. So I was like, this is my vibe, right? Um, but then why I re- ended up reaching out to you is I was dating this guy, kind of dating, not really, just like, you know, yeah. dating in 2023, whatever is, the fuck that means. That right? means that like, everyone can fuck 3,000 other people yeah, and not every, tell you and cheat on you yeah, and treat this shit. Yeah, but, yeah. And then because it's all whatever. Anyways, that's a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. But. <laughs> so I was seeing a comedian guy and we were hanging out one day. Comedian? And, yeah, it was a comedian. He's a stand up. Oh, I didn't know this. But, but like very, yeah, did I? Okay. You didn't tell me very, that very low level, like local Orlando stand up. Okay. But like I love comedy. So, okay, so Open let's backtrack. Mic. Okay. We met on Hinge. Uh huh. And I do this thing, which is really bad, but I'll go through phases where, for instance, I went to Indonesia. I came home, I go, I should date a surfer. So then I get on the apps and I just pick the first guy with a surfboard and go, sounds good. <laughs> so I've done that with a surfer. I did it with a hockey player. I had my hockey phase where I was like, I need a hockey player and just fucking found one. And was like, well, whatever. Oh my God. Right? So I was like, I'm transitioning into my stand up comedian era. So I was bad. like, bad, bad, bad real era. bad, down bad. bad. bad era, yeah, yes. it's very similar to wrestling, which I found, which is fucked. Oh. Anyways, so. I was seeing this guy and we were chatting at my house and he was like, who's your favorite female? And I was like, oh, you know, blah, blah, whatever. And he was like, I love Steph Tolev. And I was like, wait a second. I fucking love Steph Tolev. I was like, oh my God, this bitch. That's how I say it, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course it perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I don't want to fuck it up. Americans can't say it. You can say it perfect. Okay, yeah. right. Um, I was like, oh my God, I love her. And then like standard me fashion, I shoot my shot in every single way. <laughs> Dating, work, and if I want something or even like if I think someone's awesome, they deserve to know they're awesome, right? So that's why I just DM'd you. I was like, bro, you're so fucking funny because like you need to know. People need to tell you how fucking I was like, great you nice. are. Well, I, li- I like when you know? women tell me too because it makes me feel better i was like oh okay good. yeah because sometimes you second guess what you're doing and you're like am i on the right track am i doing the right thing mm-hmm. for women especially with that so i'm like it feels good when i get it so i try and give that to other people and then when you fucking replied to me and you're like come do my podcast in la i was like oh this is so funny <laughs> so i screenshot it and i sent it to him because even while we were seeing each other i would punk this guy out all the time like i would tell him how much of a bitch he was like i was very much like I'm the alpha, uh-huh. you're a bitch, this is like what it is. And I would remind him, because he was a fuck boy the whole time, mm-hmm. I knew it. Anyways, He's an open mic comedian, yes. Yes, yes. 100%. Yes, yes. Think, like, oh my God, so open mic comedian mm-hmm. and a firefighter. I mean, that's a I lot of, I, I don't, it it's is, a, no, what it is, it is a it's a hero complex for two different jobs. Oh, okay. If you're a firefighter, firefighter, you probably think you're great because mm-hmm. you're saving lives. It's like doctors. Okay. You know what I mean? Just yeah, like yeah. they have this sense of like, oh, I'm doing good, which is like, yeah, you are, but also like fucking pipe down. Yeah. And then you get that from <laughs> entertainment. So then when you've got someone that has both, it's like, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Okay, so it was okay. a lot. So I sent him that screenshot and he goes, he's like, how the fuck are you better at fucking um, networking and comedy than I am? <laughs> and I was like, cause you suck. And cause I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, cause you uh-huh. just like, what the fuck? Like, this is easy. I do. I've done this for seven years in wrestling, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really good. And I said to him one time, 
as I said, I would always punk him out. And he came over and I was like, just to let you know, like if you ever fuck with me, I was like, I will transition into stand up and I will do your job so much better than you and I will get more popular than you and it will haunt you for the rest of your days. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. He was this. like, I know, because you will do that. And like, this is not good. I was like, I fucking will. And he didn't fuck you over. No, he did. He did. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Fuck this man. Uh, yeah. Uh. Open mic too. That's, that's uh. your first sign. No, bad. I didn't know. It was my first ex It was my first comedy dating experience. Did you go see him live? Fuck no. Oh, no. well, that you fucked up. I, I wanted to, but he wouldn't let me. It's because he had other bad. It's because he had other girls that he was bringing. I, I wasn't allowed to go watch him. Oh, didn't meet his friends. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I figured he was I'm a so clown. dog shit on stage. I mean, look, I think some of his stuff is actually funny. Okay. But like. His name's not Marty, is it? No. Thank oh. God. I'm like, did we fuck the same guy? Oh my God. We could. <laughs> like, oh, wait, if you give me another few months in this industry. <laughs> We might. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna do it. We're gonna yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my uh. god! I feel like I've met my Australian twin. <laughs> yeah, I just needed like... more piercings, and then um, we're the same. Yeah. So you, okay, professional wrestler. So explain how this is. I, I don't know anything about you. I, I need to. Yeah, know no, that, it all. but that's like, fun. Is, though. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Um. So I start. I love wrestling my whole life. Just like one of those weird phases that like people have and then they move on and like become real people and I just never left that <laughs> so I was like I think this is what I should do um and I was like a really bad student in school like I was a mess I dropped out of school when I was 15 like I was a oh, fucking fuck. yeah so um I kind of knew my whole life I wanted to wrestle but especially in Australia I'm like where the fuck do you wrestle you know what I mean like everything is smaller there yeah so I didn't even know where to start um, and then I actually, it's so funny. My whole life I'd wanted to wrestle and I turned 18 and my mom was like, Steph, you've been telling me your whole life you're gonna be a wrestler. Now's the time, like wrestle. I was like, fuck, like she's right. I have been saying this my whole yeah. life. So then, yeah, I just kind of like found a training school, figured out what I needed to do, started training in Australia, but like pretty instantly, like it's pretty insane, but I'm insane. Um, like as soon as I started training, I would say in interviews and stuff, like people would be like, what are your goals? And I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna get signed to WWE. And they're like, are you sure you wanna say that? Like you're you're Australian, like you just, I'm like, no, no, yeah. 100%. Cause like, if I say it, then I have to do it, yeah. right? And then I did it, so You're yeah. fucking signed WWE, that's- I was, I was. You were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is still for an that's Australian- fucking crazy. It was very insane, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, I signed my contract when I was 22. Oh my God. Mm. I know. That's incredible. Yeah. I feel like I should have been a wrestler. You would do really well. I think I <laughs> you would. would know you would fucking do really the well. Pro my biggest problem was my nose. I'm like, I can't break this. It's already big enough. <laughs> I swear to God, that was my biggest problem. If I fuck with it, we're, we're done. It just, this squished? I can't. We're, that's too much. Get it fixed, bro. I, I mean, you there'd be a lot of fixing though. Yeah, I, I, but I think that people always ask me if I can like, like that, especially cause I wrestled with my piercings in. Oh, do yeah, you? Yeah, everything, I leave it all in. You don't take any of them out? Nothing, nah. Oh. And people are always like, fuck, like are you worried about something ripping out? And I do think I will get my teeth kicked in one day. Like my bottom teeth, cause I got three. Yeah. Yeah, so I think they're gonna go, but then I'm like, well, I just have to earn enough money that I can get veneers and not worry about it. <laughs> I love, you know I mean? That's like, the only solution to yeah, you. Like, yeah. I don't take them out. Yeah, I just take them out and put other ones in. Yeah, fuck that's it. fucked up. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. But, okay, so mm. you, okay, so what is your like personality on stage? What's the persona? So at the moment, I'm like the baddest bitch on the indies, which basically means because I, as I said, I was in WWE, yeah. and now I'm back on the independent scene. I don't even know what I would like try and relate that to in comedy, but I guess you kind of fucking know what it's like. It's like, I know it's not the same, but you're on Netflix, but then you're also doing weekend gigs at local, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. the highs and the yeah. lows and some things there's heaps of money and heaps of clout and whatever and other things. It's like, I just needed the fucking money this weekend or like I wanted to say I wrestled here, there and everywhere. So mm -hmm. I did this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just uh, some of it is just for image, but yeah. So the, the baddest bitch on the Indies is just like, I was in WWE, which was one place. Um, and then I, left there i lost my job so now it's like instead of being in one place i'm in every fucking place like okay. i'm every like it's it's i'm traveling and like working more than i ever have before like it does not stop but i'm having Fuck. so much fun because i've kind of had this realization of like why just be good in one place when i can fucking nail it everywhere so okay so wwe that's an american link so how did you even get to like 
What, what, how come you're not there anymore? Can you, are you allowed to talk about oh, this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, but the interesting thing is, is I was driving here. I was like, I've actually never talked about it. Like there oh, are really? so many, yeah, there are so many things with like WWE and what happened and like stuff like that that I've never spoken about that I'm like, fuck, maybe today's the day. You don't have to. You don't no, want no, to. No, no, I want to. Okay, okay. No. I'm like, I'm curious of how yeah. like that you no, get I want to, to that point and then you're like, out yeah, of it. yeah, no, it's interesting. So, um, so how did you even get like? Did they they heard about you? They had known you've been doing stuff. You've been like killing it in Australia. Yeah, so I started wrestling in Australia, and then I would come over here like a few times a year and wrestle oh, okay, here okay. because I knew in America that's where the talent scouts are. That's where you're going to get seen. Yeah. People are going to hear from like hear about mm -hmm. you. Blah blah blah. And then basically that's what happened. So pretty a lot sooner than I thought. Like I used to because I always write my goals out. I would say by the time I'm 25 years old, I want to have some sort of um, community with WWE whether it's a tryout or an email or something and as I said I'd signed my contract by 22 That's so it was like wild. yeah I it happened earlier than I thought it would um but yeah that's how I got signed and is it super competitive as a as a woman for fucked up like, absolutely like sickening really because mm -hmm. I'm like is there <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, 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 it must be the same as it is for it women is. in in comedy. comedy yeah yeah very yeah. similar yeah yeah no it's very very similar because it's like where in wrestling i mean and sure it's 2023 and equality exists kind of but it actually doesn't we just dress it like that sometimes mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah um so it's like when you go to a wrestling show and you have seven or eight matches and there's one women's match mm -hmm. and we have seven minutes and we know our time's going to get cut it's very competitive because we there's not much room at the top for women you know, yeah. I feel like comedy is the same. Oh yeah, there's always there's usually still like to this day I'm it's better. But yeah. I was like the only one on the show the other day, the before like a two yeah. days before that. Like it's just there's still only one of us on the show where it's like there's so many more. There's of so us. many, and there's yeah, so many. and also like in wrestling, like I always say this, like the women have so many different elements that we can add to a show that the men can't. Why would you not take advantage of that? Yeah, like are you also fucked? why wouldn't you want to get that a, a whole other clientele? Yeah. I'd rather come want to support and watch women wrestle than men. Yeah, a hundred percent. And I say that to every like watching up, uh, growing up watching wrestling. If I'm watching a show, I'm fast forwarding to the girls' matches. If I put on even now, if I put on a wrestling show, I'm not watching three hours of it. I'm finding where the girls are. Yeah. Like a female in any way wants to see what the other females are doing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And if you're expecting them to sit through three hours of wrestling and five minutes of that three hours is the women. Come on. No, you're not going to. The talent's there. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, it's it's very interesting, but that's a whole different story. Okay, so you, <laughs> there's so many different stories. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you come, okay, so you come, you get the email, you get the... Yeah, I okay. got I got the contract. Yeah. I signed my contract um, in 2019, and then I was meant to come over in 2020. COVID, cute. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Fucked me for two years. Oh my God. But yeah. did you train the whole time? Yeah, so I still trained back home. Um. I wrestled here and there, so I didn't get rusty, but I had signed this contract, so I was like, I cannot get hurt. So I had to be super careful because oh, I couldn't yeah, get hurt, yeah, yeah. couldn't do anything silly. Um, and it was just a fucking waiting game. I ended up, I, as I said, I signed in 2019 and I moved over here in 2021. Like it was oh, two fuck. years, yeah. And by that point, you know, we're in the middle of this fucking pandy wandy and we don't know if it ends. Yeah. We're like we there's no time stamp of like okay in a year you can go and mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. borders were closed and we didn't know when the fucking borders were opening yeah so i literally got to a point where i was like hold on i think i've been offered my dream job and i think it's actually not gonna happen like i think they'll just pull my contract because oh, they've got to pay all this extra money to get me over uh -huh. to get the travel over in the middle of a pandemic to set me up do my visa like what if they just go fuck it we'll get someone else so it came through but it was a very stressful period oh, of time fuck and the yeah. visa stuff so annoying like as a Canadian, spend, oh, <laughs> so much money, so much money, so much money. My green card I, cost me fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, I've probably spent ten grand in the last year, if not more, probably more. Uh, yeah, of course, thieves. Yes, you have, yeah, no, thieves. thieves. Yeah. And then if you, I like, if you don't get your, if you don't get approved your green card, they keep the money. Thieves, right? So you you, I didn't even it. get it, and you just got my money, right? Yeah, which is wild, wild. So anyway. you, okay, so you come over yeah, here. Yeah, I come over here in 2021. Um, pretty much, look, there's a long story to like what has changed within WWE, like as far as the business side of things. But basically, when I arrived, there was a huge shift in the business model. Okay. Um, they started firing a whole bunch of people because of uh, the pandemic. Yeah. So there was mass firings every week. Whereas um, really in WWE, usually they'll release about 10 people per year. 
Um, and that's people that kind of haven't really been doing as much at the moment. Maybe they've been sitting and catering for a few months. Maybe they're getting older, like they're slowing down. You can kind of see the writing is on the wall. Yeah. Um, in that year that I was there, they released over 130 people. Um, so then I got released in April of last year. So I'm almost coming up on my one year um, due to budget cuts, which everyone got told due to budget cuts. Yeah. Um, and I was the last of the mass firings. And now the business model has changed again and they've stopped releasing people for now in that way. Oh so I really God. just was there for like a year of like absolute fucking chaos. Was $9 billion. Yeah. 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 And that's, yeah. So there's a that's lot of fucked up. Yeah. What the hell? They have fucking money. The money's there. Oh, the money is there. I was on TV every single week for three months straight, which was unheard of. We had been on TMZ twice. Like we got oh, the hot, fuck. like my segment, cause I was doing crazy shit. I got on fucking, we got the highest rated views that they'd ever had on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Like we were killing it, killing it. And then all of a sudden that week just took me out. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was fucked. But that's the thing is like, they oh have released God. so many people where it doesn't make sense. So, so, okay. So you get this huge following from another. So, okay, this, I have so many fucking questions. <laughs> this is fucked up. Do you watch WWE, Aaron? No, okay. Okay. I was like, we have fans here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how, uh, when you're tra how often are you training? Um, what, what, what is this crazy shit you're doing? wrestling yeah like what the, yeah, you say when you, you keep saying like this crazy you're doing wild shit like what, oh oh, like, what oh so yeah. that wasn't tr okay so this is wild so okay so basically when i kind of got brought in um i was poised to be the next kind of big strong killer like xena warrior princess kind of yes. thing which is kind of what role i've always played so that's what i was expecting and that's what i was meant to do but then as soon as i got there the business model started changing and they started introducing like they wanted the women to be a lot sexier and wanted to mm. go back to like mm. kind of diva era so i went from like being kind of told that i was going to be portrayed one way which is like that could lead to main events that leads to titles that leads mm -hmm. to pay rises that leads to like like all sorts of shit to like, hey, um, do you reckon you can make out with this guy that's not your boyfriend every week? So you had to just fucking come in. To, who's this guy? Well, it's the people, it's like, it's from, it's all higher up directives, right? Uh-huh. And for me, look, I have a lot of people that always say like, I'm so sorry that they made you do that. I can't believe you had to do that storyline. I can't believe you had to do this, do that, whatever. And for me personally, I don't care because... Um, I was friends with a guy that I was making out with and also like he was hot. So like, whatever. I did have a boy. I did have another boyfriend at the time, which that wasn't fun. Yeah. Um, that was not fun. <laughs> um, but like, as far as actually asking me to do it, like I'm very much like, if I'm doing something, I'm going 110%. Yeah. Like I'm not doing a little peck, which people try to do on TV or they cheat it. I'm like, we are making the fuck out. Like it's going to be disgusting. Yeah. And it was, it was fucking gross because we just committed so much. Yeah. But as I said, we got the highest rated everything. So I wasn't upset because I'm like, hey, we're featured on TV every single week for three fucking months. Yeah. We're getting so many like followers and, followers shit, and yeah. people seeing us and like, sorry, but they might not remember your 10 minute match. That was good, but they'll remember me making out with yeah. this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's kind of what it was. So I could understand where like the sex sells kind of thing came into it. So mm. I was okay doing it because it felt like if you were in a storyline, you would keep your job, which obviously that didn't happen. But oh my God, it was, it was a ride. It was really crazy. Man, yeah. sex fucking really sells. It huh? does. It does. I got to get my tits out because I'm losing followers on Instagram right now. You my hands the, are coming it's out. It's the mullet. Sorry. The mullet. The mullet. People don't like the mullet. No, that is that they do or they don't. They don't. Are you, are you kidding? They do or they do. But do I'm you like, know how many people roast me about my bangs too? Every, Why? I love Every bangs. time someone says it to me, I retweet it and I go, you just added another month, motherfucker. <laughs> Like you, f I don't understand. Fuck you. I just feel like when you have like, when I just think hotter people thrive on the internet. They do. Sex sells and it's very annoying. So I'm trying to get, I want to, okay, I want to get into the, your training because I want to, should I wrestle? Okay. No, this yes. Is two questions here. Yes. But I'd have to be like. I saw your your trainer canceled on you. Yes, Was it yesterday? Oh, no, he ended up showing up. <laughs> oh, he showed so up? Yeah, thank God. <laughs> you buried him on Twitter. I know, yeah, <laughs> no, <he's laughs> also, he's hilarious. His name is Law. Law? L like L A W. Oh yeah. That's his real that's oh, yeah. on his passport. I didn't look at his passport. Okay. He's so fucking hot. I wanna fuck him so bad. Is he single? Can you I show don't know. me? No, wait. I don't Can have any photos. He, do you have his does he have Instagram? No, but he probably does. He did make me down. Is he gonna be his, a fuckboy though? Yeah. Yeah, but he also made me down. Yeah. I just wanna fuck him. <laughs> but you can fuck him. It I doesn't he, matter if he's a fuckboy if you just fuck him. No, he always is rolling girls' butts when I walk in. Rolling girls' butts. Like he's that's his thing. He like works oh them on the rolls. But then, oh my God. but he worked me the other day. I didn't get a butt roll. I go no butt roll. He's like not yet. I'm like I want a butt roll. This is what I want. If I said that, he'd be like you've got enough butt rolls. Relax. I want <laughs> like, a fucking oh. butt. Damn it. Okay. 
So you, because I'm trying to, I feel like if I, if I really dedicated and I stopped drinking as much, then I could really, do you drink? Definitely. I drink every now and again. Like I'll go out once every three or six months and absolutely fuck it up and make a mess and okay. do horrendous things. <laughs> and then I wake up the next day. I'm like, you know what? I don't think this is you funny. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? And then I have amnesia. So I forget. And then I do it again. Okay. And I never <laughs> learn. So yeah, I'm about due. I was thinking that the other day. I was like, I'm due to fucking fuck it up. Well, tonight. Well, shit. Maybe. I mean, you're not. I mean, my flight's at 1145, but. Like, Tonight? Night? Yeah. You're in for one day. Yeah. You yeah. flew in. <laughs> Are you sick in the head? Yeah. You flew in just for this. Oh, yeah. And well, I did a signing last okay, night. Okay, yeah. I was but signing. Mainly, yeah, okay. yeah. I can't believe this. This is. I love you. This is, I love you now. This is fucking crazy. Oh, my God, damn. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. So, you when you're training. Yeah. What? How often are you training? What are you doing? Like, just. How many so, hours a day? Like, what's mm, going on? So it changes. Like, so when you're at WWE, you're on, like, this militant training schedule where you are you train in, like, in-ring maybe, like, three days a week, and then you're in the gym five days a week, and then you have shows sporadically in between that. Um, not being in WWE anymore, I'm not doing that kind of schedule. But basically what I do is I do, like, CrossFit training, like, five okay. days a week. Sure. Um, and then at the moment, because I've been so busy, I've been wrestling, like, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, like every weekend in different cities. So that's kind of like wrapping it out in the ring is kind of like my training at the moment. Yeah. Like I keep my fitness through CrossFit and then like the wrestling and performing so often is kind of like my training. Cause if I did, if I wrestled three matches every weekend and then I went and trained during the week, like my body's fucked, dude. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I need a break. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that's hurts. Fucking, <laughs> so how many hours are you doing this? Like how many hours is like a CrossFit session? Oh, not too like an hour okay it's really not that bad i think you would enjoy it i just oh, started I doing it it's it. such a cult is I it yeah yeah i just started and now look i'm trying to push it on people no i'm, <laughs> it's, see, I'm it's like literally a fucking cult throwing, like like yeah. tires over and shit yeah i am 100 percent. i feel like no, i, I, I want to do it because you get competitive with the other guys and i'm like oh you one more time i'm gonna do it again too yeah no i yeah that's me i love it oh my god but you must be better than most of the men um, no, I mean, look, men are like naturally biologically a lot stronger than us. So like I try, but like these motherfuckers get to just, they just like a strong, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a, like a man, like it's the same with wrestling too. Like a guy who's not really athletic and hasn't really trained is still probably at the same strength level or even a bit stronger than a woman that like trains kind of regularly. That's a nightmare. I hate that. It is a nightmare. I, that's another reason why they can fuck off. <laughs> okay. So how you must find it. Uh, is it hard dating oh my god disgusting because okay uh, i feel like we're both like we're both why is it what i don't understand do strong you, women do you feel what i'm gonna use <laughs> do you feel like sorry i didn't mean to cut you off it's no. the adhd do you feel like when you get more successful in your career for some reason dating is harder yes that's how i feel do you have raya the app in i've i tweeted the other day i said which of you famous cunts has a fucking raya referral that can give it to me guess what can you give me one i I can't get on. <gasps> Wait, why? Did you get I banned? Ah! Get on. Did you get I've banned? Never been on. Can't get on. What do you mean you can't get I, on? I, I, Are I, you pending as well? I've been pending for five years. I have emailed them. I've emailed them two times now with my numbers. I go, I have 119,000 <laughs> followers on Instagram. Why? I know a guy, and I always talk about this. I don't want to say his name, but he's an open mic comedian here. He's got 1,200 followers. He's on Raya. How is he on Raya? Guy's a fucking bomb. Guy's is a loser. Is he fucking on Raya, though, or is he just on I, Raya? He shouldn't be. He's yeah, gross. He's, yeah. I want to get on, so if I get on, I'll give you. I, I have about Can 15 we, referrals. Let's email name. them. I I, I will again because you can't tweet at them. I've tried. See, you know, that's a, if it's you a, can't tweet no, at a, a company, that's a problem. Here's the thing. I so now I'm back on the apps because of uh, hell on earth. So I'm back on the apps, and I'm having a problem now because I want to get on Raya. This is why because I matched the guy last night, and right away he's like, "Hey, blah blah blah. I love your stand up. You're so funny." And I'm like, oh, "I don't want anyone to know who the fuck yeah. I am." I don't want yeah. anyone to recognize me because then they, they think then I'm they just, just like, think, yeah, yeah. And how about jokes about what having the a fuck big am flappy I? pussy? I don't want them thinking like, I want them to just to like meet me you, and know me. And then... No, you've got to be yourself, bro. So I know I am. When they know you on Raya though? Like, no, I guarantee most people on Raya are like, they're like, it's not just celebrities. It's like investment people. And like, uh, I just want somebody who's a fucking job. Which to me sounds terrible. No. I want a pilot. I got a big thing for no, pilots No, right no, no men in uniform. No, no man in a uniform <laughs> ever. No, for real. This fucking firefighter cunt and then the guy before him that worked in the military. I can't. I'm military done. Military is scary. Military psychopaths. Okay. Done. Yeah, no, no, scary, no, no, no. Scary, 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 scary. Sorry. I thought if you guys aren't, but okay. like, no. Personally, my, okay. What are you my, going for? Yes. Did I show you 
No, because it's my close friends. I'm gonna grab my phone. Grab your phone. I want to see because I'm like I thought I thought I liked firefighters. I've been like getting off on firefighters and fucking and because I feel like me and you are very strong, independent women, and it's, guys are scared. Guys can't handle this. They can't. That's why we're both single yeah. and <laughs> not allowed on Raya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Because exactly it's ran it. by like a straight white man, 100%. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So this is what, okay, so this was my screening process for a guy the other day who I haven't met. Okay. I said, all in a row, what do you do for work? Do you smoke weed? Are you allergic to cats? What's your credit score? What's your social security number? Are you vegan? Are you Catholic? In a row. Did he? And he said, he goes, this is my credit score. I'm not vegan. I'm, I have a cat. I was like, please don't tell me any more personal information. It was a joke. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, don't tell me your social, please. No, I can't. I'm getting like, okay, this is this is the convo I had with this guy yesterday. And I, I, I it should be nice. I should be like- It's never nice. It's well, okay, oh, he's oh, he messaged me already today. Uh, so it opened with, I, I wrote, you and your dog are very cute. Bumble. Cause Bumble, These fucking shit. pussies will fucking talk to us first. These clowns. Bumble. He write, uh, he's like, oh, uh, thank you. Right back at you. I've also seen your stand up and you kill it. And I'm like, oh. we're it's over. It's over. It's over. It's game over. Done. Or like people on Tinder are like, I match with a celebrity. I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm walking into the sea. I don't want fucking. I'm walking want, into the sea. I can't. Sea. That's how I'm going to die. I'm going to walk directly into the sea. I'm going to make a whole crowd come and watch me. Really? That's but but you're just going to go under and stay? I'm just going to walk until I. You just keep walking? Anymore. That's it. <sighs> yeah, I will. My, my dad puts fucking carries bricks on the. Lake floor, it's very confusing. Oh my god, okay. That's the like, story for yeah, yeah. I wanna know. No, it's bizarre. Okay. okay. So when was your last like serious relationship then? When? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not gonna count the last year of just fuckery. So before that, I was shit. I was dating a guy who was who lived in Australia while I lived here. Oh long okay. distance. Long distance doesn't work. No, of course We've, it doesn't. I don't know why anyone thinks it does. Sorry if you think it does, it does not. It's but not you know work. what? No, it never works. We were so we were together for like a year before I moved, but we lived in different states in Australia. I have it. Oh. Okay, one of okay. This is one of my problems that I need to speak to my therapist about, which I already have, and she told me the answer, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up again and see if it changes. Um, I have a very interesting track record of multiple long distance relationships. Okay, what's the problem there? What's the problem there? Something. Don't want to commit. What is it? What um, did she say? She just said that. So okay. So without getting too crazy, I had a negative long distance relationship when I was young, mm -hmm. and she said, "You're," which this is so fucked, and it made me want to be like, "I don't want to be a human anymore." She said <laughs> that if you have a negative experience, sometimes you could some subconsciously try to recreate the situation but change the outcome. So she's like, "You've been okay. trying to recreate and fix that situation from nine years ago." Uh -huh. in every relationship hasn't worked Fuck. i was like oh i hate that but it might but be it might something. be Ugh. anyways a lot to unpack there a but lot to unpack, a lot to unpack. Yeah. but yeah the last guy i dated was yeah it was long distance we did a year we had we did a year without seeing each other i was living here he was in australia we could facetime each other for one hour per week and that was it what the fuck? Because the time zone is completely opposite it was fucked up and what i will say Ugh. is i'm very proud of God. like the way that we, you know what I mean? Like we didn't cheat on each other. We committed, okay, we, tr yeah, we yeah, tried, yeah, yeah. Okay. and it was just got to a point where it was like, he didn't want to move here. Mm -hmm. Obviously I'm not going back. What the fuck are we doing then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So that was like the last At least, one. okay, that's, that's at least there's no cheating. Cause that's, yes. it's hard to. Everything since then in the last year, yes. So that's why I'm like, you can all get out of my life. Cause I, you don't even get a, you know, you don't even on my fucking, you're not in no, my book. No, no, no. You're not in my yeah. book. You don't get a mention. You don't get a chapter fuck off. Yeah. So yeah, they don't count. I love that. Yeah, I like that chapter. I want. I'm not giving my. So I. I actually today. Uh, I got a matching tattoo with him because I have a problem. Wait, today. Today. I'm no, 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 no. Oh, I'm oh! I thought. Today. I thought you said today. I was no, like, no, no I, I have it. I'm. I'm pissed. Oh my god, what is it? Stupid fucking taco, and I. A hate taco. It. Why would you? Because I, I have just... a problem. I was so. I. I fell head over heels for this guy. I was madly in love. I hadn't been in love in fucking eight years. I was like, tattoo. <laughs> we went crazy, and now today, two p.m. Baby, two p.m. We're getting it slathered up and i hope he's listening to this you, episode because fuck you we're covering it up what are you putting over it uh i think i'm gonna put over i really like this like succulent um succulent there's no like a like a cactusy like oh my god cute i know it's like a cactusy like flowery it. thing it's I really like cute it. yeah it's very me um, um so on tattoos mm -hmm. really funny so i said i wasn't gonna mention him but i will but i'm not gonna put him over um the fucking military guy 
so I say pardon all the time because I'm deaf. I can't hear shit. And I guess Americans don't say, you might just say what? Excuse me. Where, yeah, excuse yeah, yeah. me or whatever. So we always thought it was very funny that I said pardon. Meanwhile, we saw each other for six months. We didn't see each other for long. And we lived in different states. Of course we did. So he, this cunt one day sends me a photo of his leg. He's got pardon tattooed on his leg. Wait, that's wild. Hectic. Didn't tell you. I was like, <laughs> red flag. Wow. He was trying the entire time to get me to get a matching tattoo with him. And I was like, absolutely no. not. And then I've found multiple of his exes and every girl he's dated, he's tried to get them to get a matching tattoo. Oh ah! my God. Oh my God. And the man is covered in tattoos. Sociopath. And he told me one of them is with one of his exes. And I'm like, oh my God, are all of his tattoos? He's like fucking oh, yeah. right oh, it's like yeah. when a serial killer takes like a trophy uh-huh oh. oh yeah yeah isn't yeah. that that's, wild oh yeah wild yeah, yeah. wild no, that's oh my god i know so i found out he had another girlfriend the entire time we were together and got that tattoo what did she no, say no no she, oh. he tried to get her to get one and she was like fuck no but we were both dating him for the exact same period of time and now she's one of my best friends i'm obsessed oh my god i know <laughs> i love that right? how did you, did you reach out to her so okay so i knew this motherfucker was up something because i commented a heart eyes on his instagram and he deleted the comment oh, i mean okay come on that's right? i mean yeah yeah, okay. yeah 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 so he did that so i called him out on it whatever and then i was just i just landed in australia for like a six week trip back home over christmas and i was like i'm just not wasting a single second more on this fuck with like i knew no. he was up to something i knew he was doing shit <laughs> uh -huh. and i was like i'm figuring it out right now and then he's dead to me so i literally went on his instagram he had 40 likes on his photos like no followers so it wasn't hard yeah. just looked at what girls had liked it clicked on a girl and then there was a girl that was posting photos of his cats and dogs and you're like so i messaged like, her i said no. hey just so you know i said it in a bad way because i was ready to fight someone yeah. and it was daytime <laughs> in australia and nighttime in they were asleep oh, so i send her this okay. message go um just so you know if you're fucking mm, uh so am i so you're not the only one yeah and then i fell asleep obviously because the time difference uh -huh. so then i wake up and she's been awake for six hours being like what the fuck is yeah, going on yeah, yeah, he's yeah. obviously ignored her so she's just like is this girl a psycho did this actually happen uh -huh, what's uh -huh. going on then we finally spoke about it and connected the dots and realized he had done the exact same shit to both of us at the same time and i think what the lesson here folks is that uh always believe the woman always so i that's my biggest thing i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't, didn't believe the woman he, he had told me Did that his, his ex, ex was crazy and i was um, like you're right yeah it's not it's it's her it's not not you but i is, made a mistake isn't it crazy when you're in that situation and you think that you love someone yeah um mm -hmm. you act like such a fucking clown yeah and I'm you like, make I'm so many now. excuses yeah. for these men yep it's embarrassing it's embarrassing and I'm you look mortified. back and you go what am i doing what did why did i do that of right? course what he said happened fucking when he said uh, that happened you did that you lied you, you did said that you, you were a bad person it's clown behavior it's cl it is clown behavior. on our behalf it is oh no I, I'm and that's mortified. why they keep doing it because we're yeah we just go okay <laughs> that's why i'm so mad about this breakup is that i'm i feel like i'm i'm an idiot how the fuck did i not notice this how the fuck did i let all this stuff go by i'm like i'm I, i'm dumb yeah for letting him it's just it's it's just funny because it's like this weird sociopathic behavior that just keeps i'm like I, how did i fall for it therapy like, i know you, actors you're gonna ask, yeah. I, I know actors I, yeah. I took acting class yeah. i took improv this yeah. guy took no acting classes how is he so good really good no they're all well, actors. blind can't so, get on that show either <laughs> fuck you <laughs> I tried. My manager tried. <laughs> Oi, let's How good would I be on Love is Blind? Can we just make our own show? Because why don't we make our own show? We should. Called Love Love Doesn't Exist. Yes. Men are scared yeah, of us. Men are fucked <laughs> and we both wish that tough we Tough love? Oh my other. god, tough love. Oh. With Steph and Steph? Are we <gasps> selling it down? This? Someone we're, selling we're pitching this. it. Yeah, oh it's my good. god. What, it's oh my good. god. And then, no, we get, good. then we have to arm wrestle guys. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, AFD. stop. No, 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 stop. I can't tell you. Okay, so back to um the fucking so um hold on what did you just say before that? arm wrestling sociopaths no no no, no. before therapy our story out of here. oh, oh uh, us being fucking clowns oh yes. yeah so i figured out um i'm not going to reveal how because this is a secret for women but i found all these other girls that this comedian guy had been dating at the same time uh -huh. and one of them was like oh my god he used to shit talk you and say it was that there, there was this wrestler in his DMs that um, he wasn't interested in, didn't want to, like she was really, like she she wouldn't leave him alone. She kept texting him. He wasn't interested, wasn't keen. Oh. Okay, sir. And I don't, <laughs> okay. I don't care about like appearances and stuff, but my whole, my entire dating career, my best friend has gone, what the actual fuck is wrong with you? 
like, what like you, why, why you, you have this? no idea what you look like and how beautiful you are and the, mm-hmm. how successful you are and the kind mm-hmm. of person you are and you date these fucking flops and you've done yep. it your entire life and every time i just go yep mm-hmm. you're wrong i'm right and then mm-hmm. i'll date a new guy and be like i can't show her because she's gonna fucking say that. she's gonna roast me yeah. and then this happens and i go maybe i should listen literally my, that's what my therapist keeps saying to me even though all, all the comments on youtube say i'm fat and ugly i don't give a shit my therapist is like you're you keep going for guys who are just fucking losers pretty much like mm-hmm. and and the, but i'm like you i don't you, know it's how because we think that's all we deserve yes because yeah because of- our childhood and even now mm-hmm. conditions you yep. to think that way about yourself and even it doesn't matter how beautiful you become or how successful you become if mentally in those formative years mm-hmm. you got told how fucking fat you were how ugly you were mm-hmm. how much you sucked no guys wanted to fuck you your opinion isn't valid blah 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 you get told all of that even when you're an adult and you're successful as fuck, your brain still thinks that. Yeah. And that's crazy. That is crazy. And that's 100% accurate. Right. That's how I feel constantly. Because every, every day I'm like, Ugh. and then also the trolls don't help. But I'm like, it's just, <laughs> I, I feel crazy. Because I'm like, I, but now I'm like, I'm going, I, I'm, I'm swiping on only hot men. Right? Sorry. We've got to respect ourselves. I, we have to. We I, have to. And here's the thing. And this, I'm like, I'm trying to make a joke with this on stage and it's kind of working. But I'm like, <laughs> hot guys, fuck me. So I'm like, why you, would you I don't not? care if you're other saying I'm ugly. I don't give a fuck. I have fucked so many tens that I'm like, how did I fuck this guy? Like the amount of tens I fucked, I'm like, I can get them. Yeah, you can. So I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna keep fucking them. You should. I'm gonna keep fucking them. That's you it. You should. And That's I thought it. that too. And like, because I've been doing so much charity work recently in a dating really? scene that it's just oh, out was... of control. <laughs> <laughs> like I have uh, been really. Oh, just, the amount of fucking like gross I'm doing you a favor. Cakes. This I'm is saying. disgusting. There's one guy I fucked that was so ugly. And so disgusting that I literally like I told my sister and that was it and she was like Steph, I, I we need to talk about this like it's it's that bad. It's- it was like it was like if I showed you you wouldn't believe it. Like sure. ghoul. Okay, show me. How. I can't. I don't. I can't even. There's not even a photo. Like it's like I feel bad. <laughs> not even a photo. It was so bad. I swear. I, 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 he was even like, "Are you fucking me right now?" I was like, "I don't know why oh, I am." Like I was very. It's a lot, oh, isn't it? It's, it's bad. It's a lot. How are the men in Australia? I literally I've said this. I'm I'm manifesting it. I'm convinced my soulmate's Australian. I have for years. I used to play Aussie Rose football. Maybe it's a platonic soulmate. Is that what it is? Yeah, maybe. Because I used to play footy. All the guys were really hot. They all found me really funny. Australians find me funny. No, they, we do. So I yeah, feel like he's over great. there. They're, he is. They're, they're jokey. You've they're got like to hot. go over for I a tour. Over. I am. I'm trying, I'm trying to come the new year. Oh my God, tell me well, when So you where go. are you? Where, like, where are you based in... Australia. Uh, I lived in Sydney. Okay. Well, I was born in Melbourne, but then I lived in Sydney. Okay. But you would have such a fun time. I I think Australian guys are great. Like, I have no drama. Like, I, you know, fucking did my time there too. And, like, I never really had any crazy dramas or anything like that with Australian guys. Like, for the most part, they're pretty, like normal human beings. Some are psycho, but, like, the level of, like, psychotic shit that happens here is, like, on a different level. Mm-hmm. Like, it's crazy. Like, the dating, like, the guys here, I'm like, are you, do you actually have worms for brains? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is going on? I will say I've never had this many fucked up things happen with Canadian guys either. I, I don't want to hate on America here. I, I live here. I love, I, love, I love America. Give me my God visa, bless America. Like, yeah. God bless America. Mm. Praise the president. Praise be. I don't know what, what do you say. <laughs> Which one know. is it? I don't know. I, don't know. I just praise. Who is pray. it? I, I, I want to give my. I want to give my citizenship. I love America. <laughs> but the the men. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think. I also think it's mostly Los Angeles. The the dating here is like, absolute really because fuckery. I live in Orlando, Florida, so it's not that good either. There. You live. Are you live there now? Yeah, I live in Florida. I didn't know you live in Florida. I thought you used to live in Australia. What, you think I fucking flew here from Australia? Yes, that's why I was oh so confused. Steph, what are you talking about? I swear, that's why you, I was like, this girl's no, fucking you mentally kept, ill. What? You kept being like, oh my God. I was like, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I, I have shit to do. This is why. I'm fucking far. I'm going to be in Florida in a couple of weeks. I'm, oh my God, when? I'm fucking this hot pilot again in Miami. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> um, no, please text me and tell me when you're there. I am. Yeah, I live, in, I live in Florida. How far is uh, Miami from... Um, uh, like three well, hours. Then, okay, well, I'm, but are you doing a show in Miami? It's Thirty Miss Miami, Dania Beach. What's the date? Uh, May fucking twentieth to let's see. Wait, are you doing May twenty sixth? Are you doing to multiple 28? days? Yeah, twenty sixth, twenty eighth. Okay, hold on one sec. Come, I'll get you tickets. I want you coming. Okay, we gotta get into more body stuff here. Okay. Okay, sorry. So no, I know we're really planning our days. I'm like, I'm, I should come a day early. Maybe I should come fly into Orlando and hang out with you. Fuck yes. Okay, maybe okay. I'll do this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess I can have sex one last day. Yes. Um, okay, so wrestling, what's the biggest injury you've gotten? Like- um, I had uh, surgery on my left shoulder. 
Okay, what happened there? Uh, it just started dislocating, really. Just started popping in, popping out. Did For, you pop it back in yourself? No, so it would send itself back in, thank God. But it just got really fucked up and it got to the point where it was happening almost every match. And I was like, this is really bad. Like, I came Damn. backstage once and it was just like, it was a loose limb. It was just hanging. <gasps> I, just oh. couldn't, I couldn't pick it up, couldn't move. I tried to go to work the next day. I couldn't hold anything. I said to my boss, I was like, I think I got to go home. And then yeah. I went I went to the doctor and I was like, my shoulder's completely fucked. And he was like, yeah, it is. They're like, you need surgery. So I had so- surgery and I was out for 10 months. Holy fuck. I thought my career was over and I was such a baby. I was like, I think 20 or 21. But at that point, oh at that point, I was like, oh my God, you know. 21 with that fucking. Mm-hmm. So what, did they put something in there? Like yeah, a, so they put like fishing wire and like tied it like tightened it up so it doesn't pop out again oh my fucking god i know yeah that fishing wire that's that's yeah that it's normal? like yeah yeah it's like um because it doesn't obviously like doesn't rot or anything like that and it it's pliable like it moves with the joint so it's actually a good thing for them to use yeah and it's never it's been fine it's, since but that's my better shoulder now <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> yeah because you must know whether like sprains and shit when you're oh i've around. had a lot of i've had a lot of stuff like my i'm also hypermobile which means i'm like very flexible so okay. my which is good for some things but other things <laughs> not so much um my joints pop out a bit easier than others so i've got to be careful of that okay. um, i mean my back's not good my neck's not that good but like i've got a fucking bit of a sprain in my knee but it's not like it's all little niggly stuff okay. you know what i mean the, the entire the wrestling in general is working around some sort of injury you know yeah, if you yeah. go into a locker room every single person in there is nursing something so oh, it's just fuck. like the nature of the business is like my body hurts all day every day and when i retire i'm like put me under and fix everything all at once yeah <laughs> like fuck. just do it all yeah do you what do you take for pain nothing just nothing no advil it. nothing no you just fucking sit through it. Well, I got IBS, so it's not a good idea for me to take oh, like a whole fuck. bunch of painkillers yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like weed helps like for pain. Yeah. Um, but I don't take like regular painkillers or anything like that. Okay. You just kinda it just becomes the new normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once you, you get a new thing, that. it's yeah. like, oh my back hurts, but then after a few years you're like, Oh, that's just my back now and then it's like, Oh my neck or my knee. You know what I mean? It's oh, just becomes God. like the yeah. Do you ever get like I- I'm super on acupuncture now. It's my new thing. Have I used to get it? needling, yeah. It's fucking good. It works. I love, you know, it's, it's so funny that the doctor at work would always be like, like at WWE would be like, you're like, I think you enjoy needling and that's like really weird. Like something's wrong with you. I'm like, I think I do. I love needles. Like I just, which is such a weird thing. Why? What no you, one loves needling? needles. What needles? I mean, yeah. Like it. acupuncture. Yeah, okay, needling yeah. is the same kind okay, of thing, okay. but it's like a needle, right? Piercings and needles. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I don't like most people are terrified of needles, but I actually like it, which is fucked. That's like, yeah, I, that's like sadistic, bro. I go to get a massage and they're like, I think you don't have a pain tolerance. Like you want us to beat the shit out of you. I'm like, mm-hmm. you're like Fuck. I need to feel it. I hate needles and I have tattoos and I have piercings and I like, I see, I can't, I can't watch it. Oh, you it. can't watch it? Oh my God, really? Off. I'm like, oh, I look away and I get like faint. I'm like, I can't look at this right now. Worst story you ever heard. Okay, what's the worst body thing you've ever heard? Um, body thing. Like the worst. Like the, uh, let me think. Something like if you heard of a crazy wrestling yeah. accident. Well, I mean, someone I know, I'm not going to say who, because um, they'll kill me. They were surfing on a trip in, I think, Vietnam and broke, I don't know what you guys call it here, but like the banjo thing, the banjo string on his dick that like connects like the fucking yeah well not the taint like on the head it oh connects. the tip yeah. to the yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's called like a banjo string it snapped surfing. while they were surfing and had to have a surgery to repair it so they broke their dick oh that's bad that because sir the salt water oh, getting in there. And like being alone. on vacay and like in Vietnam where it's like not, you know what I mean? The healthcare oh, is probably not yeah, the same. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> That's, that is that kind is of a nightmare like, story. Yeah. Cause I, we, there's a guy who came on here once and talked about that happened when uh, his friend had sex and it like pulled too hard <gasps> and that oh my like God. led inside him. Yeah. But I, the salt water seems yeah. much worse. Yeah. And the being in a foreign country um thing is oh, wild yeah 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 like yeah. what's in the water i yeah. heard little things slipping uh, around in there and stuff uh, i'm like no. okay you in florida this whole thing now i'm like completely confused that i was like why is she flying yeah i was that? like okay. what are you i was like it's not that big of a deal like relax so you came so you had people sign up like line up to meet yeah, you and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, that's 
so you like uh, ins- how are your fans oh psychotic okay psychotic <laughs> like i have like so i have a tag partner who he does like he has his whole other business anyway i just got added to their facebook group which has a lot of like male wrestling fans uh-huh. um and i posted in there please do not add like don't send me a friend request this is my personal page please don't send me a friend request please guys stop sending me friend requests and stop fucking messaging me yeah and like almost all the comments are guys being like who is doing this like she's said it 60 times who is fucking this up but there's still guys in there that are like trying to add me on facebook trying to send me messages trying Kind of like, I'm like, guys, come on. So what are the what are the DMs like? What are the what are you getting here? Oh my god! So I got one just before. This is funny. Sometimes I reply to them if they're funny. Yes. So like, I had one message me say, "I would sell my soul to marry you," and I was feeling especially lonely this day. So I yeah. said, "Do it. You won't." And then he said, <laughs> "I'm currently working out a deal with the big guy downstairs. Please wait for me." So okay. when it's like fun stuff like that, that's fun. I'm like here for it. Like a guy the other day sent me a thing being like, um, hey, there's an account that's um, impersonating you using your photos. And I was like, send it to me because that happens. They make yeah, fake yeah, accounts, yeah. right? And then it was the NASA page. And he was like, it's this page because you're out of this world. And I was like, that's good. Okay, that's pretty funny. That's, that's good. Pretty, yeah. <laughs> but then there's some that is so horrifically, like graphically sexually disgusting mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that I'm like, I need to put bleach in my eyes yeah. and like I need to like that how do you say and, that to another person and what do they think we're going to say to that we like that like they think I'm going to be like oh please uh, eat a fucking bag of sushi out of my asshole you think yeah and also if this? I do like that I'm not doing that with you no like random no, Instagram no, no, man no, 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 you know no, what no. I mean it's like, like you're not the one we're I've been only, getting yeah. I've been getting this one older man who just older comments older man does he have money though I don't know but all he does he is might. comment about my legs like every post he's like those legs again and I was like Ooh, mm. stop with the, yeah. I do have nice legs but you don't, do have nice I, legs. I don't don't be doing the leg stuff is too much oh yeah. I just got one I was going, hey, beautiful, what's up? Oh, that's not His name's bad. Pass the Joint. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that's what I might reply and, to. And uh, guess what? <laughs> guess what? Guess, reply. You'll never guess. <laughs> Accounts all about weed. <laughs> oh. No, uh, also, not all. Oh, there's a photo of him. There's a photo of him. It's not oh, bad. There it's not bad. It's actually not bad. No, I, so I got I got an oil change the other day. I texted, this is fucked up. I got an oil change the other day, I think at Take 5. And then afterwards, I texted my best friend. I was like, is it wrong to fuck the guy at Take Five that did my oil change? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're disgusting. I. It's funny when I see something like that on the street. You know, I there's a guy we pulled up to the same light the other day, and I looked at him. He looked at me, and I smiled, and then he smiled, and then I was like, and it was like late at night, so then I went and turned left, and he was like this, and I was like, okay, and then I saw him pull through the light and pull over and stop. Like I was gonna do a U-turn and pull up and suck his dick at 2 a.m. What does this guy think is happening? No. I like, and I saw him stopping. I'm like, did he? And then I got worried he's gonna follow me home. And then I got uh. freaked out taking weird streets home. But it is funny when you see a guy like just like I, I love seeing just a, a rando on the street, just someone I just want to like rip their fucking clothes off. I s- an oil a mechanic is nice. I just like the, the dirty hands. Mm. Mm. I t- yeah. <laughs> this is my oil. So I. <sighs> I texted the other day. I was in um, Boost Mobile trying to cancel Boost Mobile because why the fuck was I ever with why that? Why were you? Like, I don't know. Are they still around? <laughs> no, they exist. But because when okay. I moved here from Australia, no one told me better. Okay. So I was like, that says mobile. So I was with Boost. <laughs> so I was trying to cancel it. And there was a guy in there trying to buy headphones, but he obviously he was a homeless man. Obviously, didn't have any money. Um, anyway, so then I ended up giving him a pair of headphones. This story was not to put myself over as a yeah, humanitarian right. because I'm not. <laughs> the story is afterwards. I texted one of my friends. I said. Is it wrong if I thought a homeless man was hot? <laughs> like if there was a real street Florida, Orlando, no, no, Florida no, no. man. And I was like, I think if he had a shower. Oh, oh, maybe. I, I'll tell you right now. Is that fucked? No. The amount of hot homeless guys in the Isn't city. It, what is it? It's crazy. What is it? I think it's because I think it's because they're all like actors and models who came down here and then maybe got two into drugs and then failed and then that's on the street. A lot of the bodies, a lot of, I'm really? checking out a homeless guy once a day. One guy came <laughs> up to me once. Day? When I first moved here, this really hot guy came up to me. He's like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> He's like, do you have a dollar? And I was like, oh, for fuck's <laughs> sakes. But I was like, I thought the hottest man ever was like blonde surfer hair, okay, like so blue yeah. eyes. Like oh, yeah. scruffy looking. Scruffy, but uh, also that's in now, the scruffy homeless no, looking. I in. love scruffy homeless looking. I always, my friend roasts me. She's always like, you like guys that look like they fucking smell bad. And I was like, maybe I do. Like, but if they smell really, nice. If they smell nice, but they look like they smell yes, bad. Yes, yes, It's like a primal look. I don't it know. It is a primal look. That's on, that's on daddy issues, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we've got some problems. Yeah, yeah. We need more therapy, I think. Okay. Yeah. Did your family ever say anything weird to you growing up in Australia, like about body stuff? Um, let me think. 
not so much about i mean like what are like the australian rumors i was like is there like a weird thing oh yeah. old wives tales um about bodies my i mean my parents it's kind of lame but my parents would always be like if you make like because i would always make fucked up faces they'd be like if the wind yeah. changes your face is going to stay like that okay did you guys yeah. say that shit? yeah 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 it's, it's the same shit one. there's yeah. not like random there's not like, I was like a, if, if I you mean, touch a koala once you have chlamydia or something i don't know how <laughs> no that's not i don't think there's don't anything koalas have chlamydia they do no koalas have chlamydia yeah, real for real yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a weird thing to make up yeah yeah, yeah no. no they do yeah it's a pervert i might yeah. have chlamydia from the pilot i don't know i, I gotta find out we'll find out i mean doing i've stuck we should be but after the when i was okay australia it was like I was still smart, but like I knew the situations. Whereas mm -hmm. here, it's like, as I said, that last guy that I dated has a whole other girlfriend the entire time. And these guys that I'm hooking up with that are mm -hmm. sleeping with so many other people, I'm like, I like everyone needs to be, in my opinion, now. Right? Yeah. Are you not scared? I'm scared. Oh, I'm also I'm a, terrified. I'm, I'm a hypochondriac, so I always think I'm dying. So I'm like, I can't handle the anxiety of that. You I have AIDS I mean? right now. I have AIDS in my head. No, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. I one hundred percent am HIV positive. Yeah, I got tested last week. I'm going to test it again because I thought my ex cheated on me. So I was like, maybe he had AIDS. Now I have to wait three I months. Do that too. Yeah, I'm so paranoid. I, I don't know why I do this. No, I. It's like I get off on making myself so worked up. I will be at the AHF clinic. Shout out to the AHF clinic. I'll be there next week getting getting everything tested because I, I I'm, I'm always there. No, I. It's so stupid. I'm just fucking wrap it up. Percent high. It's fine. Contract. I'm like it's that's it's so dramatic. They're oh, such yeah, man yeah. babies, mm -hmm. right? Like, come on. You like, if you deserve, like, if I'm giving you the privilege of being anywhere near me, that is the fucking least you could do. And I'm sucking the dick without a condom. So it's like, you're getting something. Yeah. Getting and something also, you, huh? you're all, you could all take a little bit fucking longer anyways. You know what I mean? Like, what oh, do you, you know what I mean? Like, what, what do I, we? I've been, no, I, 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 I like quick. I, I, I it's too long. <laughs> I, what am I, what am I, what am I doing here? I, I gotta go to bed. I have stuff to do. Two hours? Uh, hello? I'm sleepy. I canceled a date the other day because I wanted to fake tan and wash my hair instead of going on a date. <laughs> but I also found out, so it was a guy that I was going to go on this day with who I've already gone out with once before to a hockey game because I was in my hockey era. Okay. Um, but so I, again, found a female that had dated him previously because I was like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a little bit of research. research. And this is fucking insane. And the funny thing is, is every guy that I've spoken about 100% follows me on everything. So they're all going to say this, which is really this funny. Is so this is so good. They I'm all still follow me. This. They were going to watch it. They like all my shit. So sorry, but like you should have done this. You fucking yeah. weirdo. Anyways, so he was dating this, uh, seeing this chick, just fucking around. He was coming over. She goes, um, she's like, oh, I'm about to fall asleep. So just let yourself into my apartment. So she falls asleep. She wakes up. Her entire foot is in his mouth and he's sucking her toes while she's asleep. Nine. You know what it one, is? One. It's not the foot fetish. That's the problem. It's no. the uh, assault. It's the, uh, <laughs> it's the uh, no. zero consent and the assault. It's the zero consent. You can suck what? someone's toes yeah. till the fucking sun comes out, but if, they need to be away. Right? I thought you were going to say he was like, inside her. No. But still but sucking. Still, he, he was. That's that's almost I mean, way, worse. Yeah, Not was... worse, but that's like on a weird, like. And the toes? Oh, God. God. I was like, what did you say? She's like, I don't even, I didn't even know what to do. Per kick him. He's, she's already in there. Yeah. Just fucking clock him in the back yeah. of the, Jesus Christ. So then I had to be like, I can't. I, so I said my cat was throwing up. Sorry, I know you're gonna watch this. No, well, my cat it's was not, not sorry. My cat was not. My cat was not. Yeah, my cat was fucking pig. What are you talking about? Are we sorry? It's a sick Say pig. I'm a woman. I'm yeah. We're gonna apologize. Yeah, 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 right. Fuck that. What if you? What if? Yeah. How would you like it? So, toe sucker. If you woke up and someone's fucking fisting your ass without asking you, you wouldn't probably, like that. Yeah. Idiot. Mm. Okay, you're in Florida now. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Where can the people find you? We gotta wrap this up. I'm gonna have you on again because this is, and I think we're gonna become friends now. No, I, I think so. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this is like we're friends now. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Be yeah. Um, you're in Florida now. Uh -huh. so what are you working on right now? Um, fuck, I'm working on everything. So I'm doing a whole bunch of wrestling shit. All of my dates I always post. So okay, on Instagram great. and Twitter, Steph Delanda, it's my name. Um, I'm also filming a TV show, which is really cool. Ah, that starts this week. We love this, right? Oh my god, fun as fuck in Florida. Yeah, in Florida. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's called Spilled Paint. Ooh. Um, yeah, and I can't really give away much, but my character in the TV show is very similar to like who I am. Okay. So I'm super, like they texted me the other day and they're like, oh, like, can we do this to you and do that? And like, add this to your look. And, and I was like, oh my God, I love it. I was like, I already look insane and you guys are making me look more insane. Fuck yeah. Oh my God. So that's gonna be really fun. I love this. Yeah, so I'm doing that, which is cool. Um, but as I said, everything's always on my socials. I have an OnlyFans mm -hmm. as well. So same Ooh. thing, Steph Delanda on OnlyFans. What are you doing on there? Are you posting some sassy stuff? Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, 
god yeah, okay no it's the way of the future you should fucking make one bro i don't know I've so i would subscribe enough people i there's a lot i can't i gotta lose some weight first before I I don't ever say that ever again i will never let someone say i need to lose weight first before i do xyz ever yeah that's because i've said that my whole career yes yes, yes. and it's i'm doing pretty well so maybe yeah, yeah, the thing yeah, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. me different is the thing that makes me successful okay well look at this what a what a very good you know fucking, okay well yeah i did i also i can't i talk too much about my pussy as is we, you can just i visually explain it we don't need to hear anything else that's it well thank you so much for coming on no. I'm obsessed. thank you for flying you. from florida not australia, not australia. <laughs> good christ go forward everything follow me everything watch the podcast live don't suck people's toes without asking Thank you. Sending your body stories for God's sakes. We gotta send them in. We want. I want to read more. Thank you and bye. 